1039, everybody. Wellness Wednesday, according to a survey from National Recreation and Park Association. Listen mm -hmm. up here. More than 60% of adults, okay, are motivated to be more active when they watch athletes compete. I mean, I'm looking at the the Olympians right now, and I'm like, why, why can't saying, I look I'm like this? And you're saying, I'm looking in the mirror. I, it's you're like watching at my the Olympics, reflection. and you're saying, it's, look at me. <laughs> By the way, I did not shrink. He did not grow. I took off my shoes because yeah. we're about to yeah, I'll work do this. out. I get that. Look, I'm working out. So if you've been watching the Olympics, <laughs> if you've been watching the Olympics while eating a pizza on your sofa, and you are now inspired to achieve your fitness goals, you've come to the right place. That's right. Okay. Tonal mm -hmm. coach Tanisha Renee is here to show some Olympic-themed exercises you can do right at home, so there are no excuses. We like that. Lady Tanisha, so good to see you. We like that. It's so good to be back. Thank you guys for having me again. Okay, I know you like to work out at home. At home. Why do people get motivated when they are watching sports? I mean, right now, the past two weeks, I see people in the street, like, thinking they're Simone yeah. Biles. Yeah. <laughs> But it's because you're looking at them like, okay, they're like the, they're the picture. They're the best of the best is what we aspire to. So, like, they are the pinnacle of athletic performance. Um, and why would we not want to be the best? So, I mean, they are at the Olympics for a reason. For a reason. For, right? for a reason. Because they're the best of the best. Yeah, but they can run around that track in less than, like, 50 seconds. And point five. I mean, I will five say, of a win. <laughs> going for gold, you definitely need some talent. But a lot of the success is definitely going to come from work, right. from hard work. And that's something that each and every one of us can do. All right. So where do you start, right? Because yeah. I would win the award for speed walking, but like, where, what, where do you start? I challenge you on that one. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, you definitely want to start with some strength. We're always going to start with a warm up for sure, but today we'll definitely start with some strength movements. One of the fan favorites is going to be lunges. A million variations to do. Um, so we can start with a oh, forward she's lunge. She's, she's wow, she's she got right on the mat. Right. Let's okay. get right down she to business. Wow, I didn't realize she's that. Ready so to everybody go. at home can also do this with us if you want to take your shoes off, get going. I so we're going to start with a forward took her lunge. Marisol has her shoes off, Thank so we're going to step forward. So 90 degrees in the front, 90 degrees in the back. Push into that front leg to bring your body back to the top. Okay. And then we'll alternate, switch to the other side, back knee down. Now the legs, the lower half of your body houses some of the strongest and also largest muscles mm -hmm. in the body right. and it's so much challenge or more challenging to stand up than it is to get down, to get down yeah. so you really want to have that strength right. and that power to be able to lift your body from the bottom back up to the top right. start it from the bottom now we here. Now, is your knee you touching said. the ground it doesn't have to okay. but if it taps the ground Give it a little kiss a little, a little kiss a little, a little use kiss. some depth perception right like don't, okay. don't slam yeah. the knee into the ground okay kind of, I gotcha. got older knees so me too yeah. and you could do this barefoot or with shoes you could do yeah. barefoot or with okay. shoes okay yeah. Uh, so strength is one. Agility is another. Agility is another. And that's what we another. keep seeing at the Olympics. Yeah. A lot of agility. <laughs> A lot of agility. Yes, they have a lot of speed and a lot of agility, which they train for. But for us everyday athletes, we're going to bring our hands down to the ground. We're going to do a mountain climber. She said gonna... us everyday athletes. Oh, boy. We are. I mean, you know. You heard it here. On this day <laughs> in August, she <laughs> called, someone called you an athlete. <laughs> the first time hands, ever. Hands are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to drive your knee into the chest. And again, this is still going to alternate. But we're going to pick the speed up a little bit. So if you want to start slow, bring the knee into the chest. Now, Dan, you ready? You got shoes on, so right. we should be able to pick this up quick. There we go. Nice. Okay. All right, let's bring the knee into the chest. Big breath in through the nose. I'm never going to hear the end of this from him. <laughs> I'm never co hosting with him again. Now, here's the thing. Let's do it last. Here's couple. the thing. Yeah. How, long, how long do you go for? Yeah, I mean, you problem. can go for a good 15 seconds, 30 yeah. seconds. I mean, but if you've got it, let's hold this plank real, really While quickly. While we're holding this plank, how does this help with agility? Because yeah. I thought agility is your ability to pivot really quickly from one thing I to mean, the next. I mean, it is, but you're working the core strength. You're working the hip uh -huh. flexors. You're also working the glutes. Okay. So you really need to be able to move those Move, move, move those muscles quickly. Okay. And that's what we're training for. In she the is not climber. breathless. I am dying. <laughs> Drop your knees down to the ground. Let's bring the body to the top. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're taking chair. a knee. Yeah, we're going to take a knee. I like this oh, part. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but you mentioned yeah. that while we're down there, we're working our core. The core is the other place that we get all yeah. of our, our power from. Yeah, you think about it. Wow, he's taking off his jacket. He means business. Oh, Dan is not playing any games today. <laughs> <laughs> your Again, core, I thought I was having a hot core is going to keep your body upright. We're talking about really good posture, mm -hmm. um, strong muscles on the backside of the body, but also, obviously, on the front. And again, this is all to keep us tight and lifted. Okay. Um, and that's going to be really important. So... Planks, we just already did them, so I'm yeah. not going to ask you to do them again. Okay. Okay. But we are going to move into a sprinter crunch. So let's bring our hips down onto the ground. This legs are going to lose. I'm going to lose. Legs right are going to fully extend. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration, and then we can do it together. So okay. as you lift up, knee into the chest, 
Oh. Real quick, bring it back. You're gonna use that power in the core to pull your body to the top. Do Dan. <laughs> Dan, I feel like you're making me do extra reps. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. We ready? Three, two, and lift up. Sprint a crunch. We're going to alternate other side. Exhale as you lift up. There we go. The real okay. challenging part right here, the athletic part for me, is talking while crunching. I was going to say, and you do not sound like you're out of breath while you're crunching. Practice makes perfect, right? Yep. Yeah, I can't I talk go during for this gold. One. <laughs> Let's get two more, one on each side. Last one right here. Ooh. And gently bring your body back oh, to the top. Oh, okay. I like the taking right? the knee part. Yeah. Little, little, we got, you know, we're glistening yeah. right here. Yeah. This is good, though. That was mobility? No, that was core. Oh, that was... <laughs> Now we're gonna do. Dan's like, what's happening? What are we doing what, here? What time is it? <laughs> People think that your ability to move and be mobile and bendy is not important, but it is. It is extremely important. If you are asking your muscles to continue to grow, you yeah. want to make sure that they are pliable, that they are loose, and so. One of the coolest things you can do is add in mobility to your routine, okay. either at the end of your workout, even before, on an off day when you're not training. So, okay. Dan, are we doing the splits? What are we doing? We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna we're gonna keep the barrier to entry low on this one. And Dan's got this beautiful suit on, so we're gonna go into down dog. Okay. We're gonna stretch out the lats, oh, <laughs> stretch out the glutes, stretch out the hamstrings. It's, and again, it's light and frothy. It's okay. It's light and frothy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bring the heels down towards the ground. That's and here's it. what I want you to think about doing: bring your chest towards your thighs. So you're gonna press the hands into the ground. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Do you okay. feel it in oh, your calves? Oh, yes, Don't in sleep the on it. Yeah. Nice. Again, bring your chest towards your thighs, and then yeah. you're going to press the hands into the ground. Keep the elbows wrapped into the body. So feel that stretch through the lats. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And take a big breath in through the nose on the exhale. Deepen that stretch. Chest goes deeper. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Towards. And we can hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds. 20 to 30, 30 seconds? seconds. Sorry. <laughs> as, if, as if we did it on cue. <laughs> Bring the knees down. So yes, when you are going for gold, for sure, talent is going to be extremely important. But okay. you can also <laughs> work, your work, work your way to being right. an elite athlete. OK. This was fantastic. Would you pick Thank us you. for the team? Would you pick us for your team? Yeah. We're <laughs> Totally, 100%. No, she's 1,000%. I would pick sport. Which sport, is Which sport yeah. are we playing? Table tennis? You know what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. We have good attitude, and that's part of it. Right? That's right. Yes, yeah, so you gotta have, have good attitude. attitude. You gotta have. That's all that matters. Yeah. I will. I will do it. I will make people laugh as I do it. That's the whole goal. <laughs> that's that's all. That's and that's part of the goal. <laughs> We're switching knees. knees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you want to find out more moves on how to train like an Olympian, be sure to follow Tanisha Renee underscore at Instagram. That was Thank great. You so Thank much. you so much. Thank you both for having me. Thanks for putting up with Thank us too. Thank you. Uh,